Hey guys, what's going on? So, earlier this year, Samsung launched the brand new A series for 2024. In that lineup, it included the A35 as well as the A55 5G. We were lucky enough to receive the Samsung A35 from Samsung to review and take a look at and give you guys our opinion. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So firstly, a big shout out to Samsung South Africa for considering us and thinking of us and sending us this device to review. So as soon as we open the box, we are met with the phone itself. And I mean, if we have to unbox the phone, let's leave the phone aside for a second. Looking at what else is included in the box, you can see we have a case or like a basically an accessory pouch which gives us some of our documentation. It gives us the C2C cable that comes with the device as well as the SIM ejector tool. Very minimalist and I must say, um, I need to, there, there's a lot of getting used to of uh, no longer receiving an adapter, no longer receiving headphones, that sort of thing. But now, coming to the phone, unboxing the phone, so it's a beautiful, beautiful lilac color. And when we look at the phone, the phone is quite a decent size. The build of the phone as well, it's awesome. So we have a glass back, um, aluminum sides and obviously the glass front. Um, looking at the screen of the phone, it is quite a bright screen, quite awesome. Most of your basic stuff that comes with it, I mean on the side we have our power button, we have a volume up, volume down. At the top we have the SIM ejector tool uh, as well as a microphone at the top. And then at the bottom we have a speaker notch, um, two microphones, USB-C charging, that's about it. Then coming to the back, you can see we have a triple camera setup on the back of this device. And then on the front, we have a selfie camera. The one thing that stands out to me upon the unboxing, right, is the fact that if we look at the device, you would notice that there is a little bit of a bezel around the screen. It's not an endless screen like how we normally used to. It has a little bit of a bezel around the screen and I don't know how I feel about that uh, because it's like almost drawing your attention around the edges of the screen. But all in all, this is an awesome device. Um, in terms of its specifications, this version of the phone that we have has six gigs of memory, 128 gigs of storage, as we mentioned, this was launched earlier this year and this phone is retailing around the 6,000, 9,000 price range, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the screen is an awesome screen. We're not gonna talk too much about specs. We said triple camera main, selfie camera here. So the phone runs Android or One UI 6.1, Android version 14. In terms of the battery life, it comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and it supports up to 15 watt charging. When it comes to the feel of the phone in your hands, uh, the feel is quite a decent feel. Um, it is on the heavier side, but I mean, this is a budget range device. So we're not expecting S24 Ultra um, capabilities out of the device, but all in all, I think the main thing that has blown me away is the brightness of the screen. And I mean, the brightness of the screen is like next level. And you wouldn't expect something from, like this from a budget level device. But that has been our unboxing of the Galaxy A35 5G. You guys can stay tuned. There's a lot more content coming uh, to you around this device. And let us know, maybe you wanna see us review the A55. You can leave a comment down in the comment section below to let Samsung know, hey, maybe they need to send a text in the A55 next for us to have a look at. Maybe compare the A35 to the A55. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.